Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see dependent related tables in Power Apps drop-down control. So for this example, I created table structure like uh, country, state and city. And uh, here in state table, I created, uh, if I go to the relationship, I created a lookup relationship with country, which having the many to one relationship means in, in my state table, I have a country's lookup. Similarly, on my cities table, I created a relationship. Here, I created a relationship with state, which having the many to one relationship, meaning in my state table, I have, uh, sorry, in my country's table, I have state lookup, right? So, and the idea behind this, like I want to sh represent the data, like uh, uh, based on the country, it should show the state and based on the state, it should show the related cities. And I already been added those data in uh, in, uh, in on those tables. Like uh, I've added first, I added all the countries of the world, and then I added the all the states. But here I choose uh, added the state which is belongs to the India, and similarly I've added the cities which is belongs to the state. So this is how the relate you can hierarchy hierarchical relationship data has been already been added. Now in Power Apps we need to represent the same data in the drop down uh, in a drop down table like. If user selects the India and then he is goes for the state drop downs, then only Indian state should show on the drop down. And if he uh, clicks on the uh, cities uh, drop down, then only related related city should uh, appear based on states. So this is this is example that we are going to see. So now let's go to the Canvas application. So as you can see, I have created one uh, page uh, screen here. Now let me quickly add the input control. So I'm here. I'm adding drop down control. So this is this is my first drop down. Uh, and let me view country, which represent the country information. And this is simple. So I'm not going to add any sort of uh, you know any sort of uh, queries over here. I simply just added the table name. And here let me change the value from region to country name okay so now the country has been showing here and now i'll just simply copy the controls again this there and now let me change it to the so my second drop down should should be a state all right so this is for my state and now here we need to make change on the query side so in order property what i'm trying to do i just add one filter and now uh, this is for states. So let me add my table name states. Yeah, and then filter. So here, remember, I just added a lookup relationship from state to country. So let me add that column. Countries. Yeah, so this is my lookup column. Now, from lookup column, I can go down to my uh, columns, uh, parent column columns. So this is my country name and now i'm going to add the filter in ideal country dot selected from here you can see country name because uh, in my uh, country's drop down i already added the table country table so that's why i can bring the country name over here and this is my lookup relationship so that's why i can go down to my parent table and bring the columns so this is the pretty much simple filter that I've added over here. That's done. And now let me check. Yeah, for value, I'll just simply give the state name. All right. So that is added. Now let's go down, down and add one more drop down. It's a third drop down, dependent drop down, and which is belongs to cities. All right. Now it's time to make changes on the query inside. So let me remove this filter. And you know, item property. Let me add one filter. So this is uh, I'm going filter on cities table. So I added my table, and in my table name, I wanted to do filter based on state. So let me add my state column, red dot, and then I'll go to the state's name. So I want to filter on based on the state name. So this is my state. Yeah, this is my state. Alright, and then I need to filter db dot state dot selected yeah selected dot state name so this is my state name yes. and then 
ini. And then I will just close this. All right. So I have success, added all three related filter, and this value is set in a. Okay. So everything is done. Now let's run this application. So here, uh, you can see it is on China. So for China, I don't have any uh, Chinese. Uh, you know the state names or the cities name. So that's why my all the others uh, state and uh, cities are blank. But if I add it, India. So based on India, it will picked up the all the states. So you can see from Andhra Pradesh to uh, Telangana, the Arunachal Pradesh, from Andhra Pradesh to West Bengal, all the related states. You can see it has been added over here, right? And then based on this state, uh, let me change it to Maharashtra. Yeah. So this is the Maharashtra, and from based on Mar when I change the uh, state drop down, so based on all the cities has been also been checked because now it's only showing the Maharashtrian cities. You can see, I mean, uh, main city, you know, Mumbai is the capital, then Pune is the IT hub in, in India, and Nagpur is the second capital of Maharashtra, which is um, known as a tiger capital, tiger corridor of India. So all these three cities and other other important cities have all, also been filtered out here. And if I again change it to, let's say, Manipur, so based on, yeah, Impal is, you can see, based on the these four cities which is belongs to the manipur state it has been filtered out here and again if i change the uh, country from uh, india to russia so for russia i don't have any data but if i have the data so based on the ratio i can i could i could filter out the districts and states of the other countries as well so yeah this is all about my this uh, session it is pretty here you can understand like, like you know it's a very complex scenario but in power apps with the help of this fs code it made us very simple so yeah so if so yes guys if you like this video so please like and subscribe to my channel uh, that's really motivates me to serve some more important topics on uh, on this video channel thank you thank you everyone